Today marks the 17th anniversary of the tragic Virginia Tech shooting. Those across the Commonwealth remember the lives of the 32 people that were lost that day. ABC 13's Jacob Hunsker joined us live in Blacksburg with how the university is keeping their memory alive today and every day. Paige, other than a few birds chirping this morning or a couple of cars that were passing by, the mood here completely dead silent. So many people coming out here and remembering the lives that we lost. Most of the students that are here today wouldn't remember where they were on that day 17 years ago, but they tell me they're doing their part to make sure we never forget what happened here. A somber day in the Commonwealth. Students, staff, and members of the community all gathering to remember the 32 people shot and killed here at Virginia Tech 17 years ago today. A candlelight vigil placed at the memorial for those lost late Monday night, burning throughout the day today. For those ROTC Air Force cadets, today is personal, having lost one of their own in this tragedy. Some may know that Matthew Laporte, who was one of the 32 that was killed that day, was an Air Force ROTC cadet and part of the Virginia Tech Corps of Cadets. Colonel Greg Lowe had all the cadets run out to the Blacksburg Cemetery in a silent run of support for Laporte, who was awarded the Airman's Medal posthumously. The Airman's Medal is the highest medal awarded for bravery, not under armed conflict with an enemy. So very uh, high honor for Cadet Laporte. The cadets showed their respect for the victims with 32 push-ups. To honor the lives that were lost. Myself and other cadets, I'm sure, are feeling our, a sense of sadness, but we also feel a sense of pride, and it just shows how large of a community Virginia Tech is. The important part is to understand who Matthew was, what he did that day, and for us all to live up in his honor to the courage uh, that he displayed. Now that candlelight vigil will be on display here at the memorial outside of Burris Hall until about 11.59 p.m. tonight when they're going to have a ceremony to take it back inside the hall. And in memory of those that we lost, Governor Glenn Youngkin has also ordered all flags in the Commonwealth to be flown at half staff for the remainder of today. Live in Blacksburg this noon, Jacob Hunziker, ABC 13 News.